so it's day three. Um, last night was pretty restless. I woke up and went back to bed. Woke up, went back to bed. I would get really cold. Like I put socks on. And then I would get really hot. And then I would take the covers off. And then I heard my stomach like making these loud growls. But it wasn't like... Um, hold on for two seconds. You said what? Hold on for two seconds, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, it was these loud growls, but it wasn't like hunger growls. It was like more like, I felt like my body was doing something different because I didn't feel hungry. So anyways, I wake up today and I'm just so like drained and weak for me to get up and walk to the bathroom which is let's see that door right there like my heart was like you know it wasn't racing but I could I could hear it beating and I just feel very drained and I think a lot of it has to do my cycle also started um while I was asleep so I don't know how I'm going to get it through this fast during my cycle because I have a very heavy cycle. So uh, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this now. So I just had like maybe four ounces of water. I'm trying to get the courage to go up the steps because I'm very parched. Um, so I'll circle back around. I just wanted to give you guys that update. But the cycle thing already has me drained on top of being on a water fast so I'm trying to figure out what the best option will be so I'll get back to you this is truly like very up close and personal because I look crazy I don't think I've seen myself look this crazy in a while and I feel like it's crazy because the bottom half of my face looks crazy but if you take that out then I feel like I look pretty normal Anyways, um, I started my cycle. I think I said that earlier. So I'm really contemplating how I'm going to proceed with this because, you know, my cycle already makes me really weak even when I'm, you know, eating regular foods. So I'm trying to adjust. Like, I really want to push through this because obviously I started this challenge, but it still is a 30 day challenge. Um, with fruits and stuff I just really wanted to I guess clear out my system as much as possible with the water but it's like my first two to three days are usually my worst on my cycle so I'm wondering if I should go in and out at this point maybe I've done my two and a half days so far Maybe eat some fruit later, like a fruit smoothie, so that my body's able to digest it. And then again, starting tomorrow, maybe I also eat smoothies during the day. And then um, Friday and Saturday, I drink water again because I guess I'm just nervous just because of I know how I am during my cycle. That's the biggest thing for me right now. I even brought some coconut water down because... Um, my, my energy is just not there and I really don't want to like rely on the coconut water because, you know, that's not a pure coconut water. There's added stuff in it. So, um, I'm going to meditate on what I should do because even if you're following this challenge, I want you to do what's best for your body. Don't quit completely and go to eating like you normally would eat. If you do feel the need, like you're woozy or lightheaded or whatever the case may be, um, if it's extreme to the point where like your heart's racing, like how mine was, just to go six feet, I don't want you guys to harm yourselves because I'm not a doctor. Um, and sometimes for fasting, you do have to take it slow. But I know that my feeling right now has contributed to my cycle, which just sucks so much that it started because... I was so ready for this, but, you know, stuff happens. So I'm going to meditate on if I should 
have some fruit smoothies today and tomorrow and then go back into water fasting for the next couple of days and then once that ends on Sunday then right back on Monday it'll just be straight fruits again so I'll start with smoothies again and then I'll start incorporating whole fruits as well not just um, drinking smoothies so let me meditate on this and I'll get back to you guys so today has been a very interesting day. Um, it started off pretty damn bad. Um, and how I got through it, I meditated because I didn't want to give up on this fast. So, you know, I had the voices in my head like, it's okay, just go make a smoothie. You know, like I had all those voices. But I decided, you know, against it and I really meditated um, on it. And it was like, you got this, just finish it. So. I pushed through. I was a lot lazier today. I stayed in bed for pretty much half the day. Towards the end of the day, I started doing a lot more movement. Um, so, yeah, let me tell you some of the things going on. So, another thing that kind of kept me going is when I woke up this morning um, and I was going through it, after I had meditated, I realized, like, dang, I have no mucus. Like, yesterday, it was just pouring down my nose and my throat. I had to keep and not pouring down my nose, but I could like feel in my sinus where I was like, <gasps> you know, doing that thing. Um, and then I woke up, there was no mucus. So after my meditation, I really had to tell myself like, okay, girl, just push. I did experience a couple headaches, but not like major. I was doing a lot today as far as like researching stuff for like, like my family for something non-health related. Um, and then... I started going up and down my steps a lot so even right now I'm kind of winded because I just came from upstairs like I did four trips back to back up the steps up and down and my steps is two flights like it's like do 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 and then you turn do 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 so yeah but I'm really glad I stuck with it and I know day three is usually the hardest um two and three so just push through it guys like we're almost there my skin looks a little bit more normal as well. I don't know if it's just the lighting, but we getting through this. So I'm about to edit my day two and then take my butt to bed. Day four, manana.